Breaking news story now, the Companies and Intellectual Property Commission has confirmed it has received business rescue application papers from SAA. Government announced the decision last night from Solidarity. I am now joined by CEO Dak Harman, who joins us in our Pretoria studio. Thanks for your time, sir. We appreciate it. So SAA filing those papers, will that make any difference to you going to court? Well, the question now is, will that be an independent process? The trade unions met this afternoon. We met with Saka and with NUMSA to decide what organized labor must react to. Now, the important thing is now all the trade unions that we met with this afternoon and um, the SAA and the Minister and Solidarity now agreed that business rescue is the best process. But the question is, will that be an independent process? So we wrote to the um, uh, company this afternoon asking to consult with the trade union so that we can make sure that the business rescue practitioner that is appointed is an independent practitioner. If that doesn't happen, then it means that the whole process will fail. And we will not um, um, abandon our specific application if we don't have certainty and clarity on whether this process will be independent. Of course, we are skeptical about the fact that this was so um, harshly and um, done last night, um, this whole issue of business rescue. We are concerned that they just want to have a bit more control over the process and that they have issues with the fact that solidarity continue with the business rescue application. And we just want to make sure that the government or the SAA don't want to have control over the process. And if we can have clarity on that, then we will continue. And the clarity will be in who's going to be appointed as the business rescue um, practitioner. Yeah, so you say you met with the Public Enterprises Minister uh, today, right? Yes, um, some of our uh, um, um, officials met with, the, uh, with other trade unions, with the public minister, um, 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 uh, the, the, the minister, and we've also met with NUMSA and we also met with SACA. Yeah, give me details of those, that meeting. How did it go? Well, the focus of the meetings of the trade unions is all now on the independence of the process. The whole issue of whether business rescue is the right process is not in, um, um, in question anymore. The question is now about the independency of that. We've asked that an independent um, um, practitioner must be appointed and that they must meet with us before 9 o'clock tomorrow morning on that. Our concern is that they are just continuing now as if there's no other parties involved. And that is going to create new uncertainty and that is going to create an, uh, ex um, uh, 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 new forms of um, uncertainty among workers and that yeah, must be addressed. All right, so this is what I need clarity on, because you're saying you met the Public Enterprises Minister. Uh, how did he assure you at all that this is going to be an independent process, or did you not talk about that? Because that's your bone of contention, clearly. No. The, the meeting of, uh, with the, um, the minister was very operational. And um, they just um, said what happens, what's going to happen. So after that, we are not satisfied that it's going to be independent, and that's why we are writing now a letter to the minister and to the SAA asking for a consultation on the business rescue practitioner. We are not at ease with um, the independency of the process at all at this stage. What was said to put you in the situation that you're not at ease with the independence of this process? Well, uh, two things um, is actually important. The minister in the first place sent out a release where he set out an agenda for the business rescue process. The moment that you do that, then you actually are saying that I will determine the agenda. It's not the minister to determine the agenda. It's the business rescue practitioner. That makes us quite and easy at this stage. In the second place, we were not consulted about the business rescue practitioner. So we don't know who it will be. Is it an independent person or is it just someone that will do what the company wants to do? And what we want to make sure, we want the best business, business rescue practitioner and we want an independent business rescue practitioner. And, and did you raise those concerns with the minister? What's he saying to that? Well, the uh, meeting of this afternoon wasn't 
on that at all. The meeting of this afternoon was an operational meeting, and uh, we did not, that was, wasn't addressed, and it was only on shop floor level. None of the leadership of the trade unions were involved in the operational meeting. This, what we talk about, is a strategic, a strategic issue that must be dealt with the leadership of trade unions, and we hope that that will be done before tomorrow morning at 9. All right. Do you have any commitment from the minister to speak to trade union leaders about how this is going to work? Because, I mean, obviously you're trying to avoid more legal action here. Of course, yes, because if we don't get an agreement on the independency of the um, legal practitioner, then it can mean that we are forced to go to court still with our application. That's not the ideal situation. We want to have clarity and stability around this business rescue process. I think there's agreement in general that we must do that now. And now we are, want stability. We sent, our, uh, sent, down, uh, sent the letter, but we haven't. Um, have any uh, received any confirmation back yet, but we believe it will come back. Otherwise, we must make sure that it's independent so that it can be successful. Now, Mr. Herman, I'm sorry to harp on about this, but I just want to be very clear about what's happening. You said that you have concerns around the independence of this process because the minister himself has laid out how it's going to work and that's why you have concerns. So why then during this operational meeting with the minister was this not raised? The problem with uh, the meeting, the operational meeting of uh, the minister, they invited um, um, the organizers of the trade unions on shop floor level. They did not invite the leadership of the trade union. So what happened is that the people that were there were the operational people of the trade union and not the leadership. And that made it so difficult. So when we heard about this operational meeting, the leadership already sat in a different meeting discussing on what to do now. So that was the problem. The level of the meeting was wrong. The, uh, the people that was invited was not the people with the mandates. That was operational people that went to an operation meeting. That's not enough. So what we want now is a strategic high-level meeting so that we can clear the whole issue of the independence, that we can make sure that the independent practitioner can be appointed. All right. Thank you so much for your time, sir. We appreciate it. That is Solidarity CEO Dirk Herman. Now,